Hello, just to give a quick update this week um, about what's happened. So, feeling a lot better than the week before, thank God. Um, I went to Bart on Thursday, I had an appointment, and I met with the doctor that I met a couple of weeks ago. It's a couple of weeks ago now. Yeah, met with the same doctor and showed her my PDL1 result, which they needed to see. So, because it's positive, they're happy to start treatment. Um, treatment will hopefully be starting this upcoming Thursday or Friday. I haven't got a date yet, but she's hoping, yeah, Thursday or Friday. Before I can start, she wants to have another PET scan done. So that is being done on Tuesday. That's confirmed. And then they have their like team meeting on Wednesdays. So hopefully they'll be able to discuss the results and then get me into treatment on Thursday or Friday. Um, and yeah, I know like before I wasn't too happy about starting on the atezolizumab with the Braxine, but with everything that I've said I'm going to do alongside, I feel more confident that it will work. Um, so yeah, I had a consultation with the care oncology clinic on, it was on Wednesday, yeah it was on Wednesday, and they're happy for me to do their protocol got the prescription so I just had to ask this oncologist on Thursday and I was a little bit a little bit nervous about bringing it up seeing as it didn't go down too well with the other doctor the week before but um, she said she said yeah she knows about the protocol it's a personal decision some people decide to do it alongside treatment other people don't um, so it's up to me if I want to do it that's fine she just doesn't want me to start doing it at the same time as I start the immunotherapy and chemo because if I start reacting to something they won't know what I'm reacting to so then they might think oh we need to stop immunotherapy but actually I might be reacting to one of the other drugs so she just wants me to wait a couple of weeks and then start it once I've already had the immunotherapy and we can confirm that I'm not reacting to it. And I think that's really reasonable. Fine, I get that. That's logic, it makes sense to me. And yeah, I'm happy with that. And I also said to her, so, oh yeah, last week I was quite I was a bit upset, wasn't I? About this whole Zolidex injection, my ovaries, fertility, etc. Um, I forgot to mention that I did get a prescription from my other oncologist because I said to him, it's my future, my fertility, I want to protect it. And so he said, fine, okay. And he wrote a prescription for the Zolidex, three injections he wrote a prescription for. But they're, um, yeah, no, I forgot, to, I forgot to mention that. He gave me a prescription. But these injections are really big. And they're like uh, an implant, so you have it done into your stomach and it's like an implant that sits in there for a month secreting hormones to stop the ovaries from working. So I've always had nurses do it for me. And when he wrote me this prescription, I was like, okay, great. My um, GP surgery are usually a little bit funny about accepting the prescription. They want like a written letter. Um, but yeah, I managed to organise with my GP surgery for the nurse there to do the injection. So I had that done on Friday, just gone. So when I was at Bart's on Thursday, I said to this new oncologist, who I'm very happy with, I said to her, um, I'm having my Zolidex injection tomorrow. Is there any reason why I shouldn't be on Zolidex? She said, no. No problem, none, none at all. It was so easy. I don't know why um, it was so difficult for him the week before. So yeah, she's happy for me to do Zolidex, there's no problem, it doesn't interfere with treatment. Literally not an issue. So yeah, 
I was really happy with my appointment with her. I felt really reassured and respected and that she was like really easy to talk to. So, PET scan coming up this week, maybe starting treatment, hopefully starting treatment on Thursday or Friday. And that's all there is to say really, not much else. Um, yeah, trying to sit outside, enjoy the sunshine, and my hair, I might, well, they say one of the side effects with the chemo that I'll be having alongside the immuno is to lose hair. Look how much it's grown back now. I used to be, it wasn't that long ago, I was a little egg. But I am going to try and meditate. And through my meditation, encourage the drugs to not go near my head. So we'll see what will happen with my hair this time. I'm hoping I don't lose it. I've never had it, but I've never had short hair. And I really like it. Let me show you the back. It's all going like curly at the back. But yeah, I guess it's not the end of the world if it goes. Um, so yeah, bit of a big week coming up. Fingers crossed, starting treatment. Alright, that's all. Bye.